Welcome to the Game Club, first coding scratch game club where people can subscribe on a monthly basis to receive some really cool games. But also, you also get the files for that, those games as well. So you get the scratch files so you can load them into scratch, start pulling them apart, learning how those games were made, but also allowing you to tailor them, tweak them, change the artwork, do whatever you want to them so they, they're your games to play around with and make your own. So I thought I'd showcase some of the games that are already in the club that people can subscribe now and have access to. And the first game we see here is called Plop. Now Plop's an interesting one. Plop was a result of a competition, a game making competition. These games happen all the time, all throughout the year. But this particular one happened to fall on Halloween. So my game here is uh, features a carved pumpkin and it also features a trick-or-treater. And the idea is that this evil carved pumpkin starts depositing things on the street to snag up the trick-or-treaters as they go along from house to house. And it's your job as the player to click on those deposits to clear the way. There's three lives, so the trick-or-treaters can, can't stand on more than three deposits. So let's give it a go. Kind of hit start, and here we go. So the idea is you click, click away, clearing the path. It's completely random, and it speeds up the longer you play. Notice the three lives in the top corner. I've still got my three. Now it's starting to get tricky now. <laughs> We're nearly getting there. This would be great to play on mobile tablet devices as well. So it plays with mouse on 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 a computer, okay, but it's even better playing with the fingers on a on a mobile tablet. And these games um, will run um, in any browser. So I say they're scratch games. They're actually packaged up to be independent, standalone games. The games that will just play in your browser, you don't need to load them into Scratch. You can just save them, open them, and they'll play. They'll play on your tablets, they'll play on your phones, and they'll play on your computer. And should you get curious about how they were made? Well, you have the Scratch file, the raw Scratch file, that you can then go into Scratch, load from your computer, and then have fun tweaking it. So with this game, Plop, you could do all sorts with it. You could theme it for Christmas. Theme it for Easter. Maybe the Easter bunny starts dropping or laying eggs or something crazy like that. The possibilities are endless. So how do you become part of the Scratch Game Club here at First Coding? Well, click on the, um, follow the URL below and subscribe. Once you get onto the Game Club page, there's a big subscribe button. Subscribe, you can leave any time you want to. But every month, you'll get a new game uh, made available. Let's play plot one more time. OK, see you around and take care. Let's go. Not doing too badly. Remember, it's completely random. Oh, no, 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 no. Thirty-seven. <laughs> Take care.